Hi, I'm Kelly. And I'm Greg. We camp, hike, kayak, trail run, and we are hopeful that we have finally found the walkie-talkie that will work for all of our needs. Yeah! Let's check it out. The walkie-talkie, rocky-talkie, comes in a cool little box. It has the walkie-talkie itself, a charge plug, cable, and this is the only plastic that we found in the packaging. It's a USB-C cord, so it's really interchangeable with a lot of things, and a mini instruction booklet. Okay, before we go test these out, let's briefly talk about why we ended up going with these uh, radios. In the past, we have tried all sorts of radios and they all suck. <laughs> uh, we only have two requirements, one being battery and two being a speaker good enough where you can actually hear the people that are trying to talk to you. Yes. Um, as far as battery goes, we got two problems. We have the cradle issue, which if you're into RVing or anything like that, you know that there's just no place to put these things. That and if you lose it, which we've done with these, <laughs> You can't charge it anymore. The Rocky Taki has just a single cable that we have for many devices, so that'll be good. The problem with little guys like this... Which we actually like this one, except for... Yeah. We lost it. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, not the greatest speaker. No. It's a little small. It's actually almost too small. It does take AAA batteries, mm -hmm. which was kind of helpful, but then you're stuck with extra batteries. These all suffered from phantom drain, so mm -hmm. between camping trips, you go, hey guys, let's go for a hike. And you go to grab the radios and you turn them on and they go nice. bleep bleep and then they die. The Rocky Talkies should have three days worth of actual real world use. It's supposed to be sunny at the beach today. So we are gonna go give these a try down on the coast. Check it out. It's the actual sun. It was snowing last week. The walkie-talkie has, or the rocky talkie has two clips. One that gets on the heavy-duty one. I attach it to my backpack. Safety one, just in case that comes undone. The nice thing is it's right here next to me, and I can talk onto it right here. Let's just go over the controls real quick. Red, orange button, power. We got our chain, channel changer right out here on the top between the antenna and the power button. The antenna the power talking tool hello hello right there and of course the volume lower and higher higher or lower at the bottom you have where the charge port goes in it's a little flappy over it so be mindful that you don't want a potential breakage there the whole radio is covered in this plastic coverage so if you ever have to change the battery which hopefully you should never have to you'd have to take this outer part off you see how it just turned dark there? It is still on. It just does that to save battery. So when you're done using these, make sure that you push the power button and hold it down. When you do turn it off, it will does two beeps. And then you know it's off. You have your flipper here. It's for the channel scanning. If you go up, it will scan the channels. If you go down, there's a little lock and it will lock the um, channel in. Just hold it down for two seconds. Over on this side, you have your button. There is a ridge around it, so if you are tossing it in your bag, you hopefully it doesn't get pressed down in on it. On this side, you have a spot where you can put an external mic. It also has a little flap. You can plug them in. We've got the two carabiners. This is a heavy-duty one made for rock climbing. This is just more of a safety, uh, so you won't lose your walkie-talkie. You can attach it to wherever you need and it has a leash, our tether, bungee, or beach. We're gonna do a test of these speakers to see how loud they are. We're gonna start to go from one to 10. We're gonna start at one. I'm gonna see how far I can hear it from my face. Okay, give me a sound check for volume one. Five, four, two, okay, one. Okay, so right about there is volume one. That's about the distance I can hear it, so. Volume one's pretty quiet. Okay, we're gonna do volume five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, volume five I think is probably where most people would have it. It's it's pretty loud. Alright, testing volume ten. Volume ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, I think I could you hear that? That was super loud. I'll show you where Kelly is. She is way way down here. 
Okay, super scientific volume test. We're gonna jack this thing up to volume 10. I'm gonna set it down here and I'm gonna walk away and see how far away I can get. Ready, start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. That was about twelve steps of scientific <laughs> scientific reading, but that's with the the ocean going crazy. So what does this mean? It means the speakers are really good. Head it back your way. Roger that. The crazy thing is, even at volume 10, where it's stupid loud, it's not the speakers are not crackling or doing anything crazy. So it seems to be a, a pretty nice speaker. And I've dropped it plenty of times in the sand. It's fine. Keep in mind that these are FRS radios, so you won't be talking to somebody on the moon, but they are great for outdoors. We will be putting them through the paces this summer, and we'll give you a recap on how well they did. Check out our videos. You can just find us on exploretrekadventure.com. And we'll see you next time.